Hello and welcome to Crackworks Rotorua. I'm Brad Tippy, and it's time for the Raw Chalks Pump Track Challenge presented by Torpedo 7. We got some wicked razors, an awesome crowd, and a great show for you tonight. Enjoy the show. Oh yeah, it's awesome. It's pretty tech. Uh, it's super easy to make mistakes, so I think whoever makes the uh, least amount of mistakes is gonna take it. It's actually one of the best courses that's been around. Like we actually get to get, we don't kind of look stupid trying to pump down a straightaway now. We actually have momentum now, so it's fast. The crowd is super psyched here. The Kiwis are awesome fans, and we got a good show for you tonight. Tough one, deep rollers, hard work, pumped. It's really technical, really fast on the first line. We try to to keep push on the on the last straight and uh, go finish line in first hope. Dude, it's pretty sick. I like this one a lot better than the last one. Um, it's a little deeper, so it kind of separates the skill level a good bit. Um, the turns are really steep, which I absolutely love. You G out so hard, your eyes just slam back in your sockets. Dude, the pump track is running really good. It's super techy, so we have to be really focused and. Do good to the end. Oh, the course is so much better than uh, than last year. I feel like they really stepped up their game. Super tight, very very fast. So almost scary. I mean, I will, yeah, keep this full face on. Almost standing here talking to you. That's how dangerous it is. <laughs> the BMXers super strong. The mountain bikers are maybe a bit better in the corners. So that is what makes it so interesting. Oh, so much fun. So technical. You, you, you can never go 100%. It's it's sort of 95% and then. When it gets tough, you've got to push it the extra 5% just to see if you can get that little bit extra. But I'm, I'm up against Thomas right now and he's no slouch, so it's going to be tough. Yolani Hines with a slight lead on Danny Beecroft. We're going to see who moves into the next round. And it looks like it's going to be a Kiolani Hines. We have got Jonah Johnson with a slight lead going down the first stretch. Hammering into that first corner. Danny Beecroft coming back, tying, giving it up. And now it's dead even going into that final stretch with Jonah Johnson getting the bronze medal. Kiolani Hines, you're ahead of Jill Kinner. Pumpjack challenge, what's going on here? I know, I'm feeling pretty good right now, so I'm just gonna try to keep it consistent for the last round, hopefully I can get it. What finish, man. Oh, it's so crazy. I thought he had you, but you just never gave up to the end of that race. Yeah, yeah. I make a little mistake on the, on the second turn, but I saw Kyle, uh, it's too late too, so I push hard and uh, it's crazy, man. Oh, I seen Thomas was equal with me, so I tried to push it a little bit harder and I went down, but okay. I've still got third and fourth runoff now, so I'll yeah. try and go for third. I'm trying to relax and focus. Yeah, at the same time. Yeah. How do you find the balance? Uh, in space. <laughs> All right, we've got the Flying Frenchman final with Shaney Guinea taking on Thomas Lemoyne. Right now, they're in the game, ready to rock. I've been here like a couple of years, but it's just not fit, and this time it just like it rolled. Yeah, it's so cool. Last year I came here and didn't do any, anywhere near as good, so this year it's cool to come and see so many BMXs in the crowd and pull off a third. It was amazing, like going up against somebody I've looked up to forever and then being in the finals. It was like kind of a dream come true, so super happy about it. I've been sick all week, but I'm riding good, so I'm not mad about it. Well, I would say you're a sick rider, so uh, <laughs> it's working for you. Good job. A little bit disappointing because uh, second place isn't the first, but uh, happy, happy. I kind of love the pressure, you know what I mean? You do? I do. Like, I was, like instantly just was smiling. Like, I, like, just, I love the challenge to see what I can do, you know, under pressure. And I'm glad I can pull it through and get So I was like three wins this week already and a, po a podium in downhill and one to go. <laughs> this is tiring. I'm just like, I woke up at six, so I was like, you better be focusing and do it good because I don't want to do this for nothing. But I just can't do everything because of the schedule, training and stuff. 
and slope style is my main thing, so it's kind of a lot. It was another great night of racing here at Crankworx Rotorua at the Rock Rocks Pump Track Challenge presented by Torpedo 7. The flying Frenchman, Thomas Lemoyne, making it look easy, and the Queen, Joe Kintner, taking another win. The crowd went nuts under the lights, and a good time was had by all. Thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you next time.